against Aston Villa at the weekend and yet again this season, Hyun Bin Son showed how important and vital he is for Tottenham Hotspur. He grabbed a goal and two assists which put the game to bed and has helped Tottenham gain more momentum in their fight for top for this season. I for one have always backed Son. I really think he was a key player when he used to line up with Harry Kane. He was more like an unsung hero. But it was two years ago where Son won the golden boot in which he shared it with Mohamed Salah of Liverpool. But last season, Son was criticised a lot by rival fans and Tottenham fans alike, with many saying he was Finnish, washed up and not the player he once was. But without tooting my own horn, I, like some other fans, still believe that Tottenham had a key player in their side. We know Son wasn't really being used effectively under Antonio Conte, being played out of position, even though it was on the wing he was needed to be used defensively, and he wasn't putting up the same numbers but towards the end of the season, they did look more promising. He performed well in cameos. We remember his hat-trick against Leicester City when he came on as a substitute. But in most games, he was a bit of a passenger. But I do not blame Son for this whatsoever. I blame Antonio Conte. And also, he was injured. So today, I'll be telling you how Hyung Min Sung proved to everyone he is world-class. Now to start off, the term world class is batted around a lot in football, especially modern football Twitter. It seems to be that you're either world class or you're completely sh**. As I like to believe in football, there is a whole spectrum of playing styles. You can be slap bang in the middle, but you're not bang average. You're doing a job. You can be world class, obviously, but you can be a good player. You can be an average player, but you can be a horrendous player. You know, I think there is more, you know, people seem to think there's blurred lines between this. You don't have to rate them one extreme and you don't have to rate them the other extreme. But when Sun joined Tottenham for Bayer Leverkusen, I believe we had a player with a lot of potential. And even though he has not won a trophy at the football club, I still think he is a world-class player. He has always been a world-class player for us, and he is still going on to show he is a world-class player. You just have to look at the number of goals he has scored for us as a football club. He is now joint fifth goal scorer with Cliff Jones. Cliff Jones went to Twitter and congratulated Son on reaching this feat at the weekend. His goal against Villa, which was a fantastic goal, which I'll be talking about a little bit later on, just proved how vital and how, I keep saying it, world-class he is as a footballer. But this season, Son has been sublime for Spurs. He's put up some of his best numbers in a Tottenham shirt and you've got to take this into consideration. He's our new captain after Harry Kane left the football club. Our new talisman as well. He also has been played in a multitude of positions on the wing and through the middle and through this season as well. He left halfway through to play in the Asian Cup. In 24 appearances he scored 14 goals and he is averaging 0.58 goals per match it is really impressive he's got eight assists as well and has just been pivotal in our creativity and having James Madison in the team has helped him 100% and compared to last season where many say he struggled he still after 36 appearances had 10 goals and six assists but already this season after 24 games he has 14 goals and eight assists he's just been an absolute poacher he scored some world class finishes as well you just have to look at this goal against aston villa the way he drags the players out this is Ange ball at its best he, the players are dragged out they're pressed away leaving a world class player like sun free on the box free on the edge of the area and he absolutely smacks it home against Martinez who is rated as one of the best goalkeepers in the world by some. I for one have never understood why Son has been criticised in his career. He's a great player, he's a family man, you just have to watch his documentary to see how hard and dedicated he is to the sport. And some Tottenham fans and rival fans were a bit confused by Son being given the captain's armband this season. Some thought it should have maybe gone to James Madison already, my dad included in that. Some people thought maybe Christian Romero. But I believe Son deserved it. He has been a loyal servant to the club. He is the embodiment of Tottenham. And it goes to show 
that it made sense. It is the perfect captain and the person who could hopefully lead us to glory. Even you can see where Ange announced him as captain and he did a little speech on Tottenham's YouTube channel. He was absolutely chuffed with getting this and being the person that Tottenham fans expect him to be. And I've just got to bring his total Premier League record up because he is closing in on his 300th appearances. He has 117 goals and 60 assists. You know, when we compare modern wingers in the Premier League, you know, modern wingers in football, you could say, everyone would think of Mo Salah, you know, Ronaldo, these wingers who are able to get goals and just be absolute sublime. And you look at Mo Salah's numbers as well, and they are absolutely fantastic. But Son, you know, he's not too far off Salah. Salah is like in a league of his own. He is, you know, without the likes of Ronaldo and Messi, he is, you know, one step down from them. And Son is in between that as well. He is in the talking areas. But he's, you know, still a way off of being a player like Salah. And hopefully, there are rumours saying that Son will sign a new deal at Spurs. There were rumours last summer linking him with a move to Saudi Arabia. I remember that was one of my first videos I ever did on the channel. You can go back and see it, see how far I have come. But I didn't want us to sell him. I don't think we should have sold him. And he has remained at the football club. And he is just so, so good to what we need. Many people saying, do we need a striker? He is so good at finishing chances. He is one, you know, he's he's both footed. He's still quick. People say, would he have lost his pace? He hasn't. He's still able to play on the wing. He can cut in. He can shoot. He is just so good at dribbling. He is just versatile as well, which helps with the Ange ball system. I think Ange actually realises how important of a player Sun is to his team. And, you know, with the likes of, you know, Richardson has been injured, um, other wingers have been injured in the team. You know, Brennan Johnson wasn't firing on all cylinders. Kulisevsky has been a bit hit and miss depending on games. Sun has been a constant fawn in sides in the Premier League and has just been so, so good to what we are creating at Tottenham Hotspur under Ange Postacoglu. Even his FB Rev stats are strong as ever. You just know that this player is you know, in the upper echelons. I, I don't understand how people can't say he's world-class. Just look at the players who are being compared. You have your Mo Salas here, you have your Phil Foden's, your Rafael Leal's. He's in the conversation. I just don't understand that people aren't realising, you know, last year was just a blip and it wasn't his fault. You know, Tottenham in general have been given an absolute boost of energy. Richarlison's, Richarlison's form has improved. They've all improved, and that's because of the manager. So we knew it was there. He was scoring goals under Jose Mourinho as well. He was scoring goals under Antonio Conte, but the system just didn't suit him, whereas this one is perfect to a T. And even for South Korea, he's been amazing. I know they didn't win the Asia Cup, but he is so important for them. A talisman as well. He is vital for everything he does for them. So that's my argument pretty much over. Sun is a world-class player, and I won't have anyone say anything against it. I know he hasn't got trophies to his name as of yet, but I think personally, to be world-class, you don't need trophies. If you're scoring goals and being key in games, that can keep you in the conversation. I'd say he's still one of the top f five, three players in his position, um, being that of the left wing. I can't really think of many other players who are improving or being as good as his level as of yet. I've spoken about Mo Salah, more predominantly on the right wing, but that left wing spot comes striker type. There's not many versatile players like him in world football, and it's a shame he's still not in his peak when he was like 27, 28. He's now getting to the latter stages of his career. Let me know in the comments down below, do you think Hyung Min's son is world class? Tottenham fans, I'm sure you think the same, but anyone else? South Korea fans, let me know what you think of him as well. I'm sure he is like a god to you guys. But if you have enjoyed this, another different style of video, one of my deep dive videos, a lot of work has gone into this and research. Let me know by leaving a comment, liking the video as well, because it'll be a good barometer and subscribe to Sunny Talk Spurs as well. Hit the notification bell and you can become a member in the link in the description down below. Get exclusive podcasts for 99p a month. But yeah, that's my video on Sun and I'll see you again in a couple of days time. Ciao.